to me by mistake, yeah. Daddy did this to me by mistake, yeah. <clears throat> Are we live? Someone tell me if we're live, because this shit's all fucked up. This shit is all fucked up. Carlos, what's up? Hola, Carlos. Buenos tardes. We're, uh... It's like 4.11. I don't know, it's like almost... I don't really start saying Buenos noches until like... At least 6, 7 p.m., you know? At least until that time. What's up, everybody? Tennis Racket Jones in the chat. How are you doing, Tennis Racket Jones? I've been waiting to go live for a while. i got to get this stream out of the way, though. This has been crazy. I would have liked to have been live earlier today around 1, but or maybe 11 a.m., but it was a rough day in dildo land. Uh, how's everybody doing? i got a poor connection because I'm pretty far away from... For some reason, I'm connecting to my uh, third wireless connection in the house, which is at the far end. And in order to connect to the Wi-Fi that's actually right outside this door right here, um, I'd have to re-enter the password. I don't know what it is, so I'm just going with this. So hopefully the connection is good. Good enough. I'm going to move closer. Maybe that will help. Oh, I think I just ran over a kid's toy. Oops. I actually expect a short review tonight as well, man. Based on what I saw, I already know about a lot of the spoilers. I know a lot about what happens tonight. And, um, you know, WWE will never hire me as a writer, so that doesn't matter to me. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've filled out applications at WWE or sent them in resumes, sent them in uh, shows that I've booked, indie shows that I've booked, storylines that I've come up with for their current writer wrestlers, uh, I've submitted so many ideas, it's insane. Um, I have given out my ideas here on the internet, and they stole a couple of them, which is cool. Um, none more significant than the Cesaro one. Honestly, guys, there's a lot of YouTubers who come out there, a lot of wrestling YouTubers who come out, they're listening to me, they stole my idea. <clears throat> it's all bullshit mostly, you know what I mean? It's all just coincidence or whatever. But the one the one time I can say directly, uh, the one time I can say they definitely stole my idea was Cesaro. I mean, it's impossible to say, like, I think the guy should come out wearing a suit, like James Bond, and then rip the suit off, and the whole thing just rips off his body, and it's like sick. And then he just comes out like, and he's like, boom! And then he comes out and rips the glasses off and throws them after he rips the suit off. I mean, come on. If you don't believe that one, you're retarded. Like, nobody would ever think of that. Like, nobody would ever think of that. Everything else, though, is subjective to, like, I think, parallel thinking and similar ideas and, and things like that. But for that, that was so fucking weird and obscure that that was just bizarre. Anyway, whatever. That's all I'll say about that. Um, donations are on. Yeah, I don't know. Are they Did somebody donate? I don't know. They should be playing. Yeah, everything should be working. What up, Devious? Dave Rose. I just got home, everybody. I was uh, out. I was doing all this shit today, and um, Gavin was at his friend's house for the weekend, so we had to get him. Um, I was cleaning up all this stuff. Um... I think Raw will be terrible tonight, but that's my opinion of what I think tonight. Um, I just put up a Morning Madness episode that is up on uh, Patreon, and it's um, I definitely recommend that. Raw's already been taped. Yeah, it's already been taped. It's 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 going to be terrible probably.
What's up, 7 a.m. Gamer? Sin Cara asked for his release. Yeah, I saw that. He asked for it in uh, Spanish. But he's not Sin Cara, right? Because the real Sin Cara is somewhere else wrestling right now. So this this Sin Cara, can, can this Sin Cara can't even wrestle outside of WWE with the name Sin Cara. And Sin Cara is, I believe, uh, Hunico, right? Isn't Sin Cara still Hunico? So if Sin Cara is Hunico, then will Hunico go back to being Hunico? Or can he has to be somebody else? Because if he can't, he can't be Sin Cara because WWE owns that. And Sin Cara is wrestling as like Mysticis or Mysticis somewhere. So if he's still wrestling that way and Sin Cara is here as Hunico, then when he leaves, he's going to have to be Hunico. But he can't be Hunico because that's a WWE name too. So will he have to be something? He'll have to be whatever the hell or what the fuck is he going to be? I mean, that's a hell of a thing asking for your release because nobody's going to know who you are. When you're outside of the WWE, nobody's going to know that that was you that played Sin Cara, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really... That guy is really fucked. I did see that he said he wants to spend time with his kids, yeah. I didn't... I don't know what he said because I only read the Spanish version. I read the Spanish version... Um, and honestly, I understood about 8% of it, but I did see family and, you know, he loves wrestling. He always loved wrestling. Um, he's a, he's competitive or something, but he not feeling like he's get, being competitive enough. And yeah, I saw his family, his kids, um, would like to go home for a while. He hasn't, uh, something about, um, something about traveling, something about, appreciating all the opportunity he had or something like that. But I, other than that, I don't know because I, I was reading it in Spanish and I barely know Spanish. So, but I, but I haven't looked at a translation of it yet or had somebody tell me what he said exactly. So, but that's what I got out of it. And I read the whole thing. Um, he talked about all of some of the things he's done recently in his recovery. I think I, I don't remember. He said, you know, he, I just think he sounds like he loves wrestling and he wants to really be used. You know, he wants to be, who the fuck would want to wrestle, you know, doing nothing, you know? He was injured for a while, yeah. I looking I'm looking at my house or I'm looking at the screen really I'm only looking at the phone and the screen but uh if I can take three people from both WWE and AEW to build around who would it be I would take Chris Jericho Cody Rhodes and um shit uh Chris Jericho Cody Rhodes probably Chris Jericho Cody Rhodes and Maybe John Moxley. Chris Jericho, Cody Rhodes. If I had to build around, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I would want to take more than three from AEW. I'd want to take Chris Jericho, Cody Rhodes, Kenny Omega, um, John Moxley, Darby Allen, and Joe. Maybe like I might take Joey Janela to be honest. Uh, I take I might take Joey Janela. Um, and, uh, then I would take, uh, from WWE, I guess, I mean, all of WWE or NXT too. I mean, what are you talking about? From WWE, I would take, um, if we're talking about men, I guess I would take, uh, I'd take like Adam Cole and Ricochet and uh, Kevin Owens. Um, and then I'd take Biggie Langston. I'd take Biggie Langston. Dead serious. 
and I'd turn Biggie Langston into like the boss or something like that, the boss Biggie Langston or the boss or Biggie or the the big or something like the boss. Something some character where he's just like rips the straps down. He's like, you know what, sucker? I'm gonna break your arm, I'm gonna bust your face, and then I'm gonna drink a whole bunch of fucking beer and then like I just have Biggie Langston be this party. I'd be like, dude, think of it as like you're the alpha party guy, but you're also like dead serious and you're like an assassin, dude. Like you're like an assassin. You're like a dude who loves to have a good time, but you're like deadly you're like a deadly fucking athlete. And we're gonna take we're gonna you're gonna be the Kurt the like the bigger and blacker Kurt Angle. Like that's what we're gonna make you, Biggie. We're gonna make you like fucking Mr. Like goddamn promo America. And I'd have Big E Langston coming out there like, like, here's what, here's what, here's what we're gonna do, fucker, you know what I mean? I'd have Langston just throw that fucking microphone down. I'd have him spear some son of a bitch. Um, I, man, I would just have him cut these promos, because I think there's these promos in Big E that he just doesn't even get to have. He knows he's, 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 he knows his gimmick is this silly big character guy, but there's this other side of Big E. I've seen it in his, uh, Instagram videos. I've seen it in his Twitter. There's this darker side to Big E um, that's just dying to come out of that guy where he's just a badass on the mic. And he's he's really, really... He's absolutely hindered by the WWE. Um, and it's really pathetic. It's really terrible. Um, I would have... I would, tr- I would just turn Big E Langston. I would start with, um, if he was in the WWE, I would start with him winning the Intercontinental Championship, and like, I mean like, can, like just destroying somebody, or if not destroying somebody, having a ladder match with somebody, and then just, I just, and it'd be all about promos with him, you know, it'd be all about these promos. Um, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> so I picked uh, a bunch of white guys and one, I got one black guy in there. So I'm like AEW. I got diversity going on. Cody Jericho, Darby Allen, Cody Jericho, Darby Allen. Man, I you know what? Speaking of that, speaking of that, I I, I would take uh, Scorpio Sky as well. I would take Scorpio Sky. Christopher Daniels, I love Christopher Daniels, but he's old. He's older now and lame. I hate to say that. I like Christopher Daniels. He's awesome, but like older and lame. Uh, Kazarian is whatever. He's he's a very good talent, but I would take Scorpio Sky. That guy still moves like he's a, he really. I like that guy too. He's a guy I could see having good matches with guys like Ricochet, Adam Cole, and uh, you know um, Kevin Owens and stuff like that. So I would take. I would have. I would have. So far, my roster consists of uh, Jericho, Cody, Kenny Omega, John Moxley, Darby Allen, Scorpio Sky, Biggie Langston, Kevin Owens, uh, Adam Cole, Ricochet, and then uh, B- and yeah, I said Biggie already. So yeah, I would be that. That's that's my core right now. That's what I got in my head right now. Um, and then I, you know, there's probably there's a few there's people I'm missing obviously, but you know, I mean I'd probably take AJ Styles. Come on, I mean, we'd, you'd have to take AJ too. It's just the current AJ is the mail it in AJ. We're watching AJ Styles who just wants to see his family and just wants to take it easy and that type of thing, which I don't blame him for. You know, he didn't want to be champion anymore. He wanted to like, hey, listen, I've been fucking touring all over the place doing everything. I'm this is for a younger guy. Give this to somebody else. Zet Phone, thank you for subscribing to the channel, man. What's going on? Thank you, man. Antonio Brinkley says, The fact that a grown man watches WWE and AEW is cringe. Then why are you here? Why would you be watching me, a grown man, who's talking about wrestling? And by the way, without grown men, there aren't wrestlers, you idiot. Like, people are dumb as fuck, man. Grown men are the wrestlers, you idiot. <laughs> He's here because he likes me? Oh, really? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you could like me if I'm sitting here talking about wrestling. I'll talk about anything, though. This is Anything Goes. 
Uh, I recommend you check out my other YouTube channel, which is called Corrupted Nation. There's no wrestling on that channel. Corrupted Nation, you will like all the other stuff. Um, that's all there is to it. You know? Again, grown men run the company. Grown men are in the ring. Uh, grown men have been fans of the product forever. That's why there is wrestling. Without grown men, there is no wrestling. I don't think you understand that. Like, the demographic for wrestling has always been, like, mostly males. 20s, 30s, 40s, and even 50s. That's always been the case. And then there's always been the case that, hey, the elderly show up, too. Super and some jet. kids as well. Why not MJF? Oh, I'm sorry. That's a great point. Uh, Eugene. Thank you, Eugene. And I gave you a shout-out on Morning Madness, too, man. I thought something was wrong with your shit. Thank you, Eugene. Uh, yes, I would I would take MJF, maybe. Um, I'd take MJF because he'd be versatile, on, obviously, on the microphone, all the stuff he's doing social media-wise. Um, he hasn't really gotten to do anything in the ring yet, but he doesn't need to, almost. So, uh, yeah, I could see taking MJF. I probably would. I really enjoy it. He's the best on the mic right now of almost anybody, so... Yeah, I potentially would take him. Yeah, the new uh, YouTube terms of service are pretty fucking scary. All uh, The update's only so they can just terminate people at will. That's all it is. I can't stress enough with you guys. Obviously, you see the end coming. Let me explain this to you. We all got too popular on YouTube. All of these shows got way too popular on YouTube. The people are able to create a show now, and this is their own public access. You know what I mean? Anybody can up to the masses and become popular, become a celebrity, become an entertainer. And uh, that certainly doesn't sit well with Hollywood, the TV stations, and who owns Hollywood and the TV stations? All of the big, rich, crazy people. And who owns Google, right? So, no, they don't want this at all. This is not what they want. Um, so... I said this five years ago. I said, you know what, guys? We, we're fucked. And we are going to be totally fucked. And eventually this system's going to come down because they're going to start taking things away on purpose and try to make it look like they didn't do it. And I said this five years ago. You can go back and watch my streams five years ago. And it began to happen exactly like that, especially three years ago. Um, just fucking, it's incredible how it's actually come true. Like, it's dead on coming true. If you go back to my 2013, 2014 videos, it's like, fucking, dude, did, like, it's like somebody listened to my fucking map of how to do it, because they fucking totally fucking did it. Oh, that's uh, Leah's sister pulled up behind me. Leah's, Leah's sister's here to arrest me. Oh, I already got something. <laughs> Pretending like I was... That's so weird, because I watched her as a little kid, like, and watched her grow up as a little kid. Now she's, like, 21, and I'm sitting here going, like, oh, I'm in the car, Jigger. Um... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Um, yeah, it's a mess right now. It's a mess right now. Um, Leah and her sister don't really look alike. I don't know what else to say. They don't, I don't think they look like they're even brother and sister. I mean, sister and sister. Sister, sister. Leah is, Leah's nudes did leak a couple years ago. Um, you know, we had to be, no, I'm just kidding. That never happened. Uh, that'd be fucking weird. Uh, <laughs> well, her brother is gay, so her brother could be a sister. You know? Uh, wait, the, did the fiend actually attack him? Because we, I said Daniel Bryan. I, I would love for Daniel Bryan to be the fiend's next uh, attack uh, opponent. So did that really happen? If that really happened, then uh, that's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, Eugene, man, thank you for the donation, bro. 
wow, that's crazy. That's exactly what we said last week. We wanted the Fiend to, to uh, work with Daniel Bryan because they had good chemistry usually. So that's wild. Spoiler, I guess, but whatever. Oh, it happened on SmackDown? Did I miss that? Did I miss that on SmackDown? Dude, I watched SmackDown. I reviewed it. Did I miss SmackDown? I watched it. Oh, it wasn't shown to the live crowd. Okay. I was about to lose my mind. I was like, what the fuck you... What the fuck am I missing? I think I just got the alert that I'm live. I literally think I just got the alert that I'm live right now. That's ridiculous. Um... Let me see. What am I looking at from JB? I'm live and JB's sending me stuff and I can't read it. What's up, brother? Yeah, a lot of people just got the alert. I just got the alert. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, I know I'm probably not going to watch Raw tonight. I'm probably not. No, I'm going to watch Raw tonight, but I probably, it's going to suck. I mean, I'm going to watch Raw, but it's going to suck. I mean, let's just face it. Pre-taped Raws, man, they always suck. This is totally going to suck. Super Chat Party. Android or iPhone? Oh, Android, man. I mean, iPhones are good, but I will never pay for Give Apple a dime ever again. Fuck Apple. Fuck Apple. Fuck Mac. Whatever the fuck. Fuck them. They've stole money from me so many times over the years. They stole money from me in 1996. They stole money from my dad in, in early 90s, and they stole money from me in 2006, in 2005. Never again. Fuck them. I hope that company burns to hell. And they're now foreign assholes, so fuck, fuck Apple. Um, fuck Mac, fuck Apple, whatever the fuck. Fuck oranges, I don't know, fuck peaches. Suck a dick. John Montgomery, thank you for the dollar ninety nine, man. Thank you, John. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, dude, Apple's cost me eight... Apple's cost my family at least $9,000 in the past. That's not a lie. Super Holy shit! Party. What up, Joe? Love your honest review on the AEW pay-per-view, and thank you for shaving us from the crappy three hours of WWE Raw. Shaving us. <laughs> What's up, man? Anthony Lavelle, man. Anthony, thank you for $25. Holy shit. You have now made me able to justify this stream to Leah. When she was like, why are you going out into the car? Now I can be like, I made 25 bucks. Suck my dick. Um, thank you, Anthony Lavelle. I appreciate that, man. Very much. What's up to everybody in the chat? It looks like some people were just alerted, despite the fact that I've been live for 30 minutes. But hey, at least it went out, right? I mean, fuck it, right? Um, Anthony, thanks, man. And yeah, dude, I just gave my honest opinion. That doesn't mean that I'm right about AEW. A lot of you guys said, Joe, I disagree with you on this one. I had a lot of people say, Joe, I disagree. I thought it was terrible, 2 out of 10. I had other people say, Joe, I disagree. I loved it. I I was in the middle. I said, I, I thought the last two matches were great. and the And I thought they were awesome, actually. I thought the last two matches were 8 out of 10 stuff, and obviously the last one was the best, but I thought the, um, I just thought the first half of the show was like a 5 out of 10, and there were things that made zero sense, and literally things that were retarded about the show earlier, and I told you why, I gave you examples of exactly why the show made no sense, and people still were like, oh, I liked it, I'm like, all right. Whatever. I mean, you couldn't get any more ridiculous than that Young Bucks match. That was the dumbest thing I've ever seen on a pay-per-view as far as executing a tag match. It was literally the dumbest thing ever as far as wrestling psychology goes. Um, however, I was entertained by it. So I gave it decent grades because I was entertained by it. But I did call out the fact that it made no sense. And that anybody... I went into wrestling school. I had people beat like... I, I would have been beaten. You would have been like fucking had your dick broken for that. 
I'm not saying that that means that you can't do things that way, but it just, again, it doesn't make sense. It'd be like watching an NBA game and, oh shit, Robert! Do a little basketball dance off the concrete. I mean, I'm just so sick of you little meth head devil worshippers. I'll be honest, I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. <laughs> Joe, keep on doing what you do. All your shows are great, and your wrestling shows are great. The goddamn it, Robert, thank you. Grown men do watch wrestling. That guy was an idiot. That guy was an idiot. I hope the hell's a, I hope the demons of hell eat his bones. <laughs> I'm gonna do a whole show as Alex Jones one day. The whole damn, the hope the demons of hell eat his ass all out. Uh, Robert, thank you for that very much, man. Thank you for ten dollars, Robert. Uh, Joe takes antidepressants and anxiety pills. I don't actually. I don't. I should probably, but I don't. I just don't like it. Uh, Joe, why are people saying AEW went too far? Fans are the ones who ask for brutality. Anybody saying that AEW went too far is a pussy idiot and should be beaten with a tennis racket. Cornette style. NWA Power has been great. It's a show, I don't know why you wouldn't spend an hour watching at some point during the week. NWA Power, give it a like, give it a comment, mm-hmm. support the wrestling, Dave Lagana. Billy Corgan, and even though Jim Cornette hates my guts, blocked me and talked shit about me and slandered me at one time, despite slandering me, I don't think it affected my income, so, um, hey, I like Jim Cornette still on commentary quite a bit, so it is what it is, I like the guy, I don't know, send him a clip of me saying this, I don't know, maybe he'll change his mind, but I, I like Cornette, you know what I mean, he hates me, but I know why he does, I'm an annoying fuck sometimes, I get it. Um, but I love his commentary and I love Jim Cornette and, uh, I don't agree with everything he says, but fuck it. That's awesome. I don't give a shit. Uh, I recommend you watch it. Man, I don't know. Betting on football right now. I wouldn't bet on football at all right now. I gave up on betting. I said it this morning on my morning madness podcast on Patreon. I said, I'm never betting again on this shit. These, these last four weeks to three weeks of football have been fucking retarded. Dude, the only people that are winning money are like idiots. How the fuck could you win money on football and actually know what you're talking about based on who won? Like, like some guy won yesterday. He was like, "I want to, I want to bet on football." And then his cousin, his cousin's like, "Jimmy, you want to bet on football?" And then he's like, "I want to bet on football." And then he's like, "You want to bet on football? You can't bet on football." Oh, come on, Carl. He wants to bet on football. Peggy's retarded. But he wants to bet on football, Carl. All right, all right. You want to bet on football? Fuck, all right. I want to bet on football. All right, here you go. Here's your fucking pen. There's the teams. Pick your picks. Here's the spread. There's we go. Put it in and whatever. But you're spending your own allowance. You're spending your own money, you fuck. Oh, don't yell at him like that. Well, he's your son-in-law, goddammit. He lives with us. He's always just, he didn't even do the dishes last week. Carl, you know about his disabilities. I know. I'm treating them like I'd treat anybody else. Now write it down and make your picks and I'll put it in for you. Jesus. He doesn't even watch the games. Well, maybe he'll get something right. You never know. Okay. All right. Fine. Put it in. Next thing you know, Sunday fucking happens and the Dolphins win and all these other fucking weird things happen. He's like, <laughs> and the fucking he for Oh, my God. I, I can't believe it. I just lost $300 on this fucking week. Oh, I lost $300. Oh, my God. I lost $300. Oh, my God. It can't be as bad as what you picked, Carl. In my year. Fucking, oh, my God, Carl. What the fuck? You picked the Dolphins to win by... Carl, you won $1,000. I'm sorry. That was fucked up. I'm so sorry. If I offended you, fuck you. <laughs> My neighbors are thinking I'm having a mental breakdown. <laughs> I'm in the car like, ah! They're just like, the only neighbors that can see me are the ones to my right here. The other ones can't see me, really. I mean, I guess the ones behind me can a little bit, because I have my lights on. The only ones that can really see me are right there. And that guy's hilarious. 
That guy that lives over here is fucking hilarious. On Halloween, he was like high and drunk and shit. It was fucking great. And all he wanted to talk about was drinking. So, uh, that guy's fucking awesome. And then, uh, I guess the guy over there is about to die, to be honest. So, uh, that's terrible, but... I mean, I guess we'll get new neighbors at some point if they got, because the guy's like 80 or something and he's not doing well. And for God's sake, I think he lives by himself, I was told. And that's a, like, it's like a house for a family. He lives in our house because all the houses repeat after like, you know, every nine houses, it's the same house again because they're all built the same way. You know what I'm saying? So this guy's in a house the same size as mine, but all by himself. So every once in a while, I, I walk by. The last couple, uh, recently, I just started, I go outside. When I go for a little walk up and down the street, I walk by his house, and I just, you know, peek in on him. And he's, a lot of times, he's on his porch, or he goes out front to do stuff. So, like, I just look at him, like, hey, what's up? And he's like, hey, I'm Joan. I'm like, what? I'm Joan. Cool. Um, but, yeah, so I just kind of check on him. I, I'm like... I feel like I'm one of the youngest people on this block. I am the youngest guy on this block because they're, that, they're like 50, or they're like 48, rather. He's like 80. The guy behind me over there is like 60 or 55, I don't know. And then the people over there are like 40. And then the people right there are like 39. And then the people over there are like 38. And then the people over there are like 37. And then the lady over there is like 48. And then up the street, it's all 40s usually. So it's like, I'm like the youngest dude here. Like, I mean, Leah is definitely really young. So we are the youngest people on this that, I, that I've that i met yet. I haven't met anybody younger than us here in this place. And you don't want us exposing ourselves. Jessup. It's true. This man has no dick. Sell you the tribal necklace. Dude, imagine if somebody wanted to buy my necklace. They were like, dude, you know what? I want that necklace. Like, you've been wearing it for six years, Joe. Or eight years or something like that. It really is eight years. Mm. Mm. Taking a bite into my my sandwich. I'm just kidding. Why did you make you think I was choking? Yeah, this is an... I, I have a thing about having... Um, not to sound like a hippie weirdo, but... I have a thing now about having something circular around my neck. I have to have something around my neck. And I put magnets on it recently. Um... I actually need to have something circular on my wrist too. So I have nothing on my wrist right now and it's really freaking me out. I need to have like something here. I have something that Amanda uh, Amanda Greenolds made for me. And I, I wear that every once in a while. Um, which I think is really cool. She sent it to me in my P.O. Box a couple, uh, about a year and a half ago now. or I forget when she sent it, but... Um, but yeah, I'm the old, I'm like the youngest in the neighborhood really. So like I, going back to that about the older guy over there. So like, I feel like I look around, like I'm always like, Hey, is everybody okay? Like, is everybody doing all right? You know, there's older people around. Did somebody fall? You know, um, I get weird like that. And since I'm home a lot, you know what I mean? I'm working from home mostly. Um, although I did take this thing, but I don't talk about it, but I do work uh, something else now, but it, I, uh, but, but I'm home a lot. I mean, I'm home a decent amount. So, like, I'll 
walk around the neighborhood sometimes and just peek around, you know, like, oh, everybody's there, all right, okay. Jasmine Roberts, oh, Jasmine Roberts is here. Ken Taylor's hitting on Jasmine, that's cool. Jasmine is pretty, um, Jasmine's pretty. I am 49, a wrestling fan. It's true. Only live uh, one cut, no second do-overs. Joe, do you? And Tony Storm is coming back. Uh, Joe, I, yo, I heard about that BS. America is pro-anti-father, a.k.a. Democrats and liberals. What are you... Omega Dreads, I'm not sure what you're saying there. I kind of see what you're saying, but I'm not sure what you mean. You know what I mean? You got to say that again or something. I don't. I don't quite get that. I didn't get what you were saying. Yo, constipated rock is here. What's up, brother? It's pretty cold, yeah. It's it's getting down to the 30s and 40s and 20s now in, in Boston, so yeah, it's a mess. Arknolia Strokelbean is here. He is the oldest in the chat. We wished him a happy birthday the other day. It was his birthday just a few days back, and uh, that was a fun day. I thought it was pretty good. Arknolia Strokelbean, me and him will be doing our podcast pretty soon, our episode three of the I don't know what you want to call it, the beanstalk or the couch or whatever I called it. I'm going to come up with a better name for it maybe, but um, I will be live tonight after Raw. It's going to be a weird one, but I will be live tonight after Raw. Um, and thanks to Arknolia Strokelbean, he is a $25 producer, man. Thank you very much. If you're a producer in here, uh, shout it out, And but I'll put you, uh, we'll get you all in the description box down below if you haven't been put in there yet. Uh, we had some new changes this week to that. So, Also, uh, we went up to 388 patrons already on Patreon this month. So we're on our way to 400 again. Um, we just can't quite hit that $400, but we've retained almost everybody. So um, it's a really successful Patreon right now. Um, and I, it's just crazy, man. Thank you, guys. It's probably going to be a depressing night of WWE, probably, yes. We came really close to the 15-hour stream uh, last month. The, uh, we hit 398 patrons. Two patrons away. It has to be active patrons, that's why. We've actually hit more than 400, but it has to be active patrons. Um... <laughs> My Patreon is down below. It's a, it's a link. You can go to it on your phone, but there's an app, too. You can download the Patreon app. Thousands of creators have Patreons now. Which brings me to that point about YouTube earlier. You guys don't understand these new terms of service. They are going to start taking out YouTubers, and they're going to... It's going to... Something could happen to my channel. Something could happen to me. I could go away at any time. It's really important that you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram... Um, that you know I have a website, joecronenshow.net. What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's you want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Bubbly. Oh, oh a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> now, now that I won monetize this, I beat the game. Add my name to the record books. Raise my hand. Raise it, damn it. <laughs> wheel tactics. Honestly, I'm surprised more people don't make rants if you're offering 100 points for a good rant. Thank you, Will Tactics. I agree, man. You had a really good rant, man. We're, you had a really good rant, man. You're, you're going to, to the championship night with that hundy, at least. You know? Uh, Will Tactics, thank you for the donation, man. And congratulations. That was a fun night, dude. It was a fun monetize this. And it was a fun Corrupted. We were really tired on Corrupted. That's the only thing I'll say about Corrupted was... We were a little tired on Corrupted, so we didn't have the best amount of energy on the Corrupted podcast. But as a like a relaxing, chilled podcast, it's really it is still good. I'm happy with it. I told Bailey that after I said I wasn't happy that you know we were so tired, but I was happy with what we did on on uh, Corrupted. It was it was good. So um, yeah, yeah. I mean, Blitz was right when he when you think about it in many ways. But what he wasn't right about was you still need to be on YouTube, you know, if you can. To create a new channel, whatever, and drive people to your new uh, website or whatever you can do. Um, so I'll always be here. I'll always create another channel if I can and try to maneuver people out of here. Um, I don't do that now. I, I, try to, I try to keep people on my platform now, but 
if it went that bad and got that bad, I would definitely um, uh, move to uh, my website. So just remember that, that, that Patreon and JoeCronShow.net, Facebook, Twitter, and, and none of those are guaranteed with the way those those are, you know what I mean? Nightbot is a bitch. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Nightbot is a bitch. Fucking fuck this fucking seat. Oh, I'm fucking getting crushed right now. Oh. Oh, I'm getting crushed. Oh. 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 This seat has a mind of its own. Oh no, not again, no! 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 Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, we talked about uh, Sin Cara asking for his release already earlier, but... Uh, as for his release, not surprised. I mean, who is he going to be when he gets outside of WWE? You know, Hunico, Sin Cara, somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> Trains, planes, automobiles. Somebody caught it. John Montgomery, what's up, man? Hey, it's me, Steve Martin. And I'm going to be at the Paradise Rock Club next week telling my jokes about fucking cats. Steve Martin. It is dark in Boston now. Yeah, I meant to go live way earlier today. Um, Camacho is in Japan. That's true. How can I come about getting views doing comedy? Uh, Adam Cruz, what's up, bro? Um, it's definitely really tough, right? Because... I tried to do comedy on YouTube and it, it just didn't, I, I ended up with 700 subscribers at some point, way back when, way back when. Um, um, you know, I was on set and the director told me, Steve, if you don't, if you don't make love to my ass, you're fired. And I was like, well, I don't do that. I'm not that kind of guy. Sorry. I like messing around with Steve Martin. Um, did you see you were mentioned in a WrestleMania? Oh, WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, everybody hit me up about that. That's cool. I don't even know about them. I've never seen their stuff. Aren't they like, they're pretty new, aren't they? But they look like they got a giant following, even though. Aren't they new? Having the bubbly! Appreciate that. What's up, man? And guys, make sure to hit that like button down below. Make me feel somewhat okay. Because if I see 30 likes and 5 dislikes, then I might just be a wild and crazy guy. Sorry. I just, I'm just going to keep making fun of Steve Martin the rest of the show now because you guys mentioned uh, that movie. So it's just going to be weird. It's going to be weird the rest of the movie. I don't tell a lot of people this, but uh, I was molested. Oh my God, Steve, Steve Martin, you were molested? That's right. I don't tell anybody because nobody would believe... I was molested on the set of Cheaper by a Dozen. Cheaper by a Dozen? Cheaper by the Dozen? Cheaper by the Dozen. Oh, that movie with the kids. Oh my God, you were molested on that set? Yes. Steve, that's crazy. Like, I mean, I'm so sorry. How did that, how did that even happen? I mean, it's a kid's movie. You were molested, Steve? That's right. I was molested by the children. Oh my, ugh, what? 
That's right, they molested me. Nobody believes it. That's why I don't tell anybody, because who would believe that I would be molested by children on this set of Cheaper by a Dozen? But like a pack of orangutans, they, like, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, man, I love that one. They got Hillary Dove, too. <laughs> Let the rain fall down. Yeah, Raw will not Raw will not be good tonight, man. Raw will not be good. Those damn kids were stronger than me. What up, Janet? Navarez. Uh, Raw will probably suck. It's taped. It's what we know of it is bad. It's going to be bad. I'm s Good luck to them. I am shocked that the SmackDown ratings went up. You know, we know why they did, but, like, the, those SmackDown ratings deserve to be abysmal. Um, I'm hoping the Seahawks, I, I, even though I'm a 49ers fan, a little bit, I'm a little bit of a fan of the 49ers, a little bit. I kind of hope they lose because I don't want anybody else to get an undefeated season after uh, the Patriots didn't get theirs, so I'd be really pissed off, you know? Plus, the Patriots are the only team to really go undefeated in the season recently, you know? So, I mean, no, we're not talking about the Dolphins because fuck them. They never, they suck. Um, but yeah, and also, yeah, I, I really do think that this was the week that the Niners and the Patriots could both lose. They, the Patriots lost their game against the Ravens. Now, if the Niners lose tonight against the Seattle uh, Seahawks, we'll see. This will be the toughest game that the 49ers will have played, I would believe. Just like I thought the Ravens would be the toughest game the Patriots would play uh, all season at this point. And that's, that came true. They lost. So I think that the uh, 49ers are in for it tonight. But, uh, you know, if I, I, I will be so happy if the Patriots don't win the Super Bowl this year, I will be more than happy to cheer for the 49ers because I spent years talking about how Jimmy Garoppolo is going to win a championship. And he is one of the best quarterbacks. If Tom Brady leaves New England, we have Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm so happy because if Tom Brady leaves or retires, don't worry, we've got Jimmy G, baby, and I'm telling you, he's good. And then what happens? Tom, they, they trade Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> so if he wins the Super Bowl, though, hey, I, I, I said this guy might win two or three. You know, this guy could win two or three Super Bowls, like the way he is. We'll see what happens, though. Definitely needs a, needs a good team around him, too. I spent two years saying that real, Chad. You can go look it up. Go look up the football streams. And then, um, especially when, uh, when he took over for Brady, when Brady was suspended those four games for nothing, um, we got to see how decent Jimmy Garoppolo was. Oh, man, the Jets QB sucks. The Jets QB is retarded. You know? Uh, Brady is not a cheater, so that's stupid. Explain what he cheated at. I don't know what you could. You probably could not prove that he cheated, so... I don't know what to tell you. Did he cheat when he lost the Super Bowl, like, three times? When any anybody says that like Tom Brady is a cheater... That tells you that they're they're retarded, you know what I mean? You know who's a cheater is uh, Sammy Sosa, who fucking corked a bat, but he says that he didn't know about it or whatever. So that's even that's debatable, I guess. But he did use a corked bat, right? So that's that's just sad. It's like me saying the New York Yankees are cheaters. It's like everybody everybody did steroids on every team. Who cares? He fucking Ortiz did steroids on the Red Sox. Fucking Alex Rodriguez did steroids on the Yankees. Whatever. Everybody did them. Whatever. Everybody's a cheater then. I don't like... I'd like it to all be legal or none of it to be legal. They gotta do one or the other. You know what I mean? What's up, Crystal? How many years do you think Tom has left? I think he's got one or two, but I really think it's... This could be it, man. He sold his house here. 
you know, so maybe one more, but, um, I would, at this point, I'm going to say no more than one more. So he may come back next season, but definitely not after that. After what I'm hearing from him about his family and what he wants to do. Yeah. It's possible that he, he wants to go play one year somewhere else just to do something different. That, that's possible. But maybe he wants to retire a Patriot too. I, you know, I don't know. I, either way, I'll love him anyway. If he goes somewhere else for a year, that would be really weird to see that. But I will appreciate that he wanted to try something different, like like play football in the National Football League for a different coach, a different team, and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like to give everybody one little look at it. You know, I mean, I could appreciate that, I guess. But um, I hope not, though. I hope he does retire a Patriot, and that's that's it. Um, I don't think he will. Um, I don't think he will, though. I think he'll retire a Patriot, and whatever. And I know that people have heard this, and people are sick of football, but um, you got to understand, I was 16 years old. When the Patriots had won zero, and and when when Drew Bledsoe, our real quarterback, who was pretty good but not the best, but he was all right, when the guy who we thought could take us to a Super Bowl got injured, I turned the TV off. It's the funniest thing. I was sitting there in my room mm-hmm. in high school, in tenth grade or ninth grade. I think ninth or tenth grade. I'm sitting there. I think it was ninth grade. In my bedroom, my little bedroom outside of Boston, with my little TV with the, with, with the antennas, my TV with the antennas, we had cable downstairs, cable up in the other room, but in my bedroom, I had my little 12 by 12 TV or whatever the fuck it was, little box black TV with a VHS uh, slot in it, you could watch VHS tapes, and there I am with the rabbit ears sticking up, it probably was a Sunday, I believe. We're playing the New York Jets, and um, Drew Bledsoe got us to one Super Bowl in 1996, and here it was 2001, and we're like, all right, I'm getting sick of watching this football shit every year where the Patriots lose. I'm more of a hockey baseball guy myself anyway. I'm definitely more of a hockey guy and a baseball guy, but like, here we are watching football again. Let's see if we can do it. We're playing the Jets. Um, and there's Drew Bledsoe running to the outside and the the Jets player comes and smashes him in the back or in the ribs or something and fucking kills Drew Bledsoe. And the next thing I see, Drew Bledsoe's getting helped out of the game. And they're like, well, here comes the backup quarterback, Tom Brady. And it was like, fucking Tom Brady? Who the fuck is Tom Brady? What the fuck is this? And I just said, well, fuck fuck this shit, and I just turned, I literally turned the TV off, I turned it off, threw the remote down, I was like, not watching, not watching this fucking season, and I watched one or two more games during the season with Brady at quarterback, and they might have lost one of them too, and I was like, I was like, oh my god, fuck this, and then the Patriots made the playoffs, and I went, what the fuck, we made the fucking playoffs, and so then I started watching. And we, we won that snowball with that retarded bullshit fucking call, but it, we still won. You got a break. Made it to the Super Bowl after, made it to Pittsburgh, beat Pittsburgh, you know. Made it to the Super Bowl, whatever, or whoever we beat, I don't even remember now. And it was just crazy, man. So, like, you got to understand, I'm not a fucking bandwagon fan when people are like, oh, you bandwagon. I kind of bandwagoned that season, but it's not, it's not really. It was me after fucking nine years of watching this shit, you know what I mean? I started really watching football when I was 10 or nine, about nine, maybe, maybe a little younger, but yeah, I was younger. I was like seven or eight, but whatever. Um, again, more of a hockey guy, baseball guy, but after like eight, nine years of this, I just went, I'm just fucking, I can't watch like, fuck this. Bledsoe's injured. Fuck. We're fucked. We can't win with Bledsoe. How are we going to win with fucking Tom fucking dildo? Who's this guy? So, um, Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. So I'm 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 not a um, a bandwagon guy. I grew up. I live. I'm in. I live in. I live here. You know. I, I, what are you gonna do? 
How do I feel about Mason Rudolph? Uh, God, I don't know who that is. I'll be honest. I don't know who that is. Also, rest in peace to that to the uh, Travis, the the guy who passed away, man, in New York, the wrestler. Um, I called one of his matches one time. Um, I just awful. I don't know what happened. Still, I haven't brought myself to look to look at it. Um, so that's just terrible. Oh, he's the Steelers' new QB. I didn't even know that. Jesus, I didn't even know who that was. He's playing a lot better than Rothless turd. God, I didn't even know that that was their QB. I don't. I didn't even know. I saw that. I saw they had a different QB because Rothless Burger got hurt. Um, Matt Matt Travis, man, yeah, that's just terrible. I don't know. I know a lot. I know a lot of people that knew that guy or knew of him in New York. So this is bad. I can't say anything. I I barely I I crossed his path once, and he was cool to me. Um. really weird when you know somebody in wrestling a little bit for a second and then something like that happens to them it's uh it's pretty weird man i don't know i can't tell you i just i i couldn't even read the stuff about him i was like what the fuck i only called one of his things but a lot of other people know who he is so what will be up tonight then joe rantline (laughs) No, I'll be doing raw review. I'll be doing a raw review, but it won't be long. Probably it'll probably be a lot of like that sucked. This was dumb. Uh, anyway, time for gaming and like let's play PUBG. I haven't heard Sasha Banks' full new theme yet. I heard a little bit of it and I like it a little bit, but I just like her regular theme. I wish she'd just keep a regular uh, theme. Theme. Jesus, Cody. I'm sorry about your cousin, man. That's insane. It's too bad, man. That's a uh, weird... Fuck this world of why this stuff happens. I don't know. I don't know why we do what we do. We'll vote for Kanye West if he ran for president. Imagine if Kanye ran with... Uh... Man, he I, he's weird because he's like a little bit unstable, but he's also like pretty smart with stuff, too. And, um, I don't know, I'd like to see, uh, Donald Trump Jr. and Kanye West run together. That'd be weird. Um, it would also be funny, um, if, like, I I would think it'd be hilarious if, like, a Democrat and a Republican ran together, like, like, as vice president and president, just to fuck with people, you know? And they were like, listen, I, we, we think if we come together, like, with our differences, um, that we can run the country really well. <laughs> That'd be really funny. I'd vote for that, probably. That's interesting. And, like, we know we're going to disagree. We're going to yell at each other. But in the end, we're going to settle it through our own, you know, decision processes. And we're going to do the best we can for you guys. And here's the issues I have that we're, we're agreeing that you know, I can go forward with. And here's the issues he agrees with that, that we're going to try to go forward with. And we may not agree, but we're going to give them a try and see how they work. You know, like, that'd be so weird. Imagine that. That'd be fucking awesome, though. I'd go for that. That's bizarre. Jimmy Kimmel, yeah, all, all the uh, late night guys joke on Trump because that's what the media wants them to do because they're against the Republicans. The media is all manipulating everybody to hate the Republicans and hate conservatives. I'm a liberal, mostly myself, but I know the media is bullshit. The media is lying to all of you, lying to all the, all the trying to get all the left wing people to hate the right wing people for the wrong reasons. Um, it's all a big rigged system right now. Um, they're, they're banning conservatives and banning right wing Republican accounts, but not banning left wing people's uh, opinions. They're banning anybody on the right who says things. They don't ban the Young Turks. They promote the Young Turks on Twitter, on Twi- on YouTube. They're a liberal, democratic, uh, lying uh, news source, uh, pundits who spread lies, um, inaccuracies, but yet sometimes do report things 
good and, and do expose things that are great, but a lot of times they lie. It's no different than Alex Jones, but Alex Jones is banned from everywhere, from everywhere, uh, from saying anything. And he was right about Epstein, and he was right about a whole bunch of other stuff. He was wrong about a bunch of things, but so aren't the Young Turks. The Young Turks do the same thing, yet they're promoted, and yet Alex Jones is banned everywhere. So you have now forced me to step away from the left-wing liberal party and become an independent because I don't trust you. Because you are lying to me and you're lying to all these people. I may agree with the politics more, leaning left slightly, but I will never be forced or lied to or manipulated. And you are manipulating us and you are manipulating the American people. Fuck CNN. Fuck YouTube. Fuck the Young Turks. Fuck this bullshit system. And I, listen, I want to I wanna equally fight against uh, maybe some of the right-wing beliefs that I don't believe in, that I want to fight when. I don't need you to take them out of the game and to cheat so we can win by silencing people. That's bullshit. And that's what they're doing. Sorry, I lost my mind there for a minute. Think for yourselves. Don't, don't think left or right. Don't listen to the lies of the left or the lies of the right. Listen to what's real and, and do your own investigating of stuff. And you'll come to so many more amazing conclusions. And then you'll find that you're attacked like crazy. We're all living in the Matrix, man. The Matrix is real. It's, it's, it's what this, this illusion of left and right and the fighting and, oh, you have to agree with one thing or the other. Fuck that. Just do your own thing. All Christians aren't bad. All Muslims aren't bad. They're not all good either. Nobody is all anything or all bad. There's bad people in every group everywhere. Um, you know, don't, don't, you know, don't hate an entire group for no reason. Just because you, because they have a pattern in some cases, you know, not everybody's bad. Like, just keep that mind opening. Uh, keep that mind open. And fuck chickens, too. That's the other thing, too. Fuck chickens. Yeah, the Clintons are... The Clintons are terrifying. But yeah, when uh, the Clintons were president, uh, Bill Clinton was president, there was a lot of uh, happy times at home. You can't argue that, though, and that's why that perception's there. I agree, too. I like Clinton, too, because, I don't know, I enjoyed life during that. Did they do a bunch of fucked up illegal shit in the background? Yeah, that's why you were enjoying life. That's why we were all enjoying life. Because they were too. <laughs> they were like, oh, all this shit behind the scenes, do this, do that. But for us overall, as America, we were like, oh, this is a good time. You know? So, while I agree, that was a hell of a time. If we only knew what they were doing to other people and to humans behind the scenes and what they were manipulating. Um, all the presidents have been bad, in my opinion. Uh, Clinton has been bad. Obama had his bad times, too. Bush was certainly bad. Uh, Trump has done some bad things, but he's done some good things, but he's done some a lot of bad, too. Um, every president has problems. They all do, and, and major issues, depending on who you are. But you know what? Happy Veterans Day. I want to say thank you to all the veterans around the world, no matter what country you're in. Uh, but especially, of course, here in the USA, anybody who served uh, that did something that I wasn't able to do, um, that, that made it possible for me to be streaming in a car right now on my fucking phone, um, you know, people that defended their countries, uh, Canada, America, the American veterans. Uh, yeah, Slob75. I don't know if Slob75 is going to call tonight. I don't know if Slob or Tommy's going to call tonight. Um, but I am going to have my new Slob75 t shirts come and go. He's kind of communistic, socialistic, but he but he's weird. I don't know. I'd probably say Nixon and Carter are kind of fucking weird. They were they were pretty weird from what I read, but I don't read much. So what do I know? I'm I'm kind of an idiot. Don't listen to me on politics. I'm just ranting about shit. I don't know. I'm being stupid. You you know you guys know better than me probably. Um, but yeah. Um, fuck. What was I gonna talk about? Shit. I don't remember now. I'm not sleepy. I had something in my eye, man. It's driving me goddamn nuts. Um, Slob75 will be busy with Uncle Ernie. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Struggle Bean. 
Slob 75, Slob 75 JCS. Try to add that and hashtag it all over the place so people know, you know, he knows it came from over here. Slob 75 JCS, baby. But yeah, thanks to all the veterans around the world and, uh, thank you guys very much, uh, for dealing with, uh, anxiety, for dealing with, um, post-traumatic stress, for dealing with, uh, sacrificing maybe an education you could have had somewhere else, maybe a friend or somebody you could have known or something you could have done instead you went to Iraq or you went somewhere else in the world, Germany, uh, and, and also the Middle Eastern soldiers, man, some of the people in the Middle East, uh, who it's, it's actually a, uh, um, a requirement that they serve in the military for a certain amount of years, no matter what they have to do it. Um, you know, those people, um, doing their time to, to, uh, serve their countries, um, and whatever. And here's to everybody, motherfucker. And it's a co it's a coffee time. Slob on my knob. 75. Someone says, Arknolia, stroke, I mean, that's awesome. You're in the Air Force for seven years? That's that's so sick. That's cool. Slob knee shirt. Um, yeah, man, I... You can't say enough for the people that uh, got us uh, here. Or the, the, all the things that... It's really about... It's, it's about some kind of sacrifice, you know? Uh, people that... Um, Thomas Bison, what's up, Thomas Bison? He's a ten dollar VIP patron. What up, Thomas? Um, I don't know if I'm getting ignored or what. I'm not trying to ignore you, Thomas. I just missed your comments, probably. I wouldn't ignore you, dude. You're great. I, everybody's great. I'm. There's nobody in here that I'm trying to ignore at all. I'm just retarded. It's hard for me to read shit, you know. I'm a terrible reader and I'm a terrible writer too. I can verbally. I can convey stuff verbally very decently, but when it comes to converting it down to words on paper, it's so bad. Yeah, somebody bought a raw tarted shirt today, so thanks to whoever that was that bought the raw tarted shirt today. Um, much, much appreciated. I will have new ones coming. You missed my good comments. Ah, oh, fuck. Online persona, Twitch TV, what's up? I write better than I speak. That's funny. I am a $10 patron. I can't afford to donate. Well, hell yeah, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, if people, I think a lot of people are like that on Patreon too. Some people are like that where they're like, I don't have money to donate every night, so I just do five bucks a month. And I'm like, that's awesome. You're fucking helping me uh, be able to do all these shows. I can't do these shows without you guys. So, dude, if, if you're somebody who doesn't donate, but you at least do two, three, four, five dollars a month on Patreon, that's a huge help. That's, that keeps the shows going. I'm just rambling. Yeah, I'm not ranting. I'm like rambling. Uh, Joe is Ron Burgundy. I really wish I was. I really could be. Oh, I'm sorry about your mom, Crystal. That's awful. I don't know what I'm going to do when my mom... That happens to her. I don't know what's going to happen. That's crazy. I'm sorry, uh, Crystal. Joe, will you do a face reveal when you hit 70K? <laughs> I should do a dick reveal. Uh, not, so I've been ranting and rambling this whole time tonight. Uh, streaming now for what, how long have I been streaming? Uh, about an hour, hour, eight minutes. I'm about to end the stream TSS. So I haven't finished last night's mo Friday nights monetized this cause I was busy this weekend, but you showed a clip of drew underneath your chair. When did that happen? Uh, monetize this two sixteen or 23 or two thirteen or something like that. Drew knows. I think that was when drew was over my house when he came over. That was the night that, uh, Drew got all weird. Man, it's getting really dark in this neighborhood. It's like the fucking light's not working. 216, look at that. Drew knew. Shout out to Dave Rose, too. Oh, Crystal, that sucks. That's awful. Hit us up on Twitter or something if you want to talk to all of us, you know, about your mom or about whatever. I don't know. Email me. I don't know. JoeCornShow at Yahoo.com or hit, hit us all up, you know. I don't know. Because I know that uh, that would, I would be, uh, you know, I know that that gives you anxiety big time. All right. I am going to head out, everybody. Thank you to everybody who donated uh, during this live stream uh, to keep these Q&As alive, keep these going. Um, 
I like doing these. Sorry that it's so late. Um, still. Arcnolia, struggle being your mom's 89. Jesus. My mom is 68. 60, uh, soon to be 69. And uh, you saw my mom in that video that I put up on Patreon. I was asked in person. I was in person going like, Mom, what do you think about me having AIDS or whatever? It's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, it's dark. It's 520. It's dark as hell. It's cold. I am out of here, guys. Hit me up on Twitter if you want to say anything. At Corrupted Pod. At Corrupted P-O-D is my Twitter account. All the stuff is listed in the description boxes of these videos down below usually. Facebook, Instagram, JoeCronenShow.net. Um, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin show. I'll be doing Patreon shout outs tonight. If you become a patron, we're only 12 away from 400 patrons. And then I do a 15 hour stream and then things get really fucking weird. Uh, so become a patron, even if you're just a dollar patron a month, $1 a month. Uh, but for five bucks a month, that's almost a coffee, uh, a month, you get 30 hours of bonus content. You cannot hear on YouTube. All over there on Patreon. Me and my wife's podcast. Me uh, in the morning with Morning Madness, which I did upload today. Morning Madness is up right now. If you didn't hear it, go listen to me. I was rambling on about all kinds of shit plus your questions. Um, honestly, podcast with me and Tommy NC2010. Me and Tommy, our own podcast, honestly. Um, my podcast with Jesse, Final Frontier News with Dave. And uh, the Corrupted podcast every weekend with me and Justin Bailey and special guests. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Go check it out, and I will see you guys tonight uh, after Monday Night Raw to review it and to probably go insane because it's going to be one of those nights. Thank you so much. Love you. Kisses. And uh, the turkeys are going to kill us. <laughs>